Pedestrian crossings are in almost every village, town and city across the UK and we must understand how they work so we can drive safely. In the UK we have five different types of pedestrian crossing. So in this video we will explain each type and how we should deal with them as a driver. Before we start, please consider subscribing to our channel so you don't miss our next video. And if you found this video interesting, please click the like button as it really helps other people find us. When we spot a pedestrian crossing in the distance, the first thing we do is to check our mirrors for any following traffic. If we spot a vehicle very close behind us, we can reduce speed or brake more gently than usual to reduce the chance of being hit from behind. If the crossing has traffic lights, we watch them and are ready to react to them if necessary. If we see a solid amber light, this means we must stop if it is safe to do so. When stopping, we must stop before the solid stop line and allow the pedestrian to cross. Before moving off, we must ensure that the crossing is completely clear, even if the traffic lights have changed to green, as it's just not safe to squeeze past people in the middle of the road. If we spot a zebra crossing, we will need to look out for anyone who might be about to cross the road, so we approach the crossing with caution and are ready to stop. If our view is blocked and we can't see both sides of the crossing, we should assume that someone is there in case they step out suddenly. Never wave a pedestrian across as other drivers may not have seen them and might not stop. Whilst waiting, we can look for other nearby pedestrians that may step onto the crossing and also cyclists that might be squeezing past our car. We have five types of pedestrian crossings in the UK. These are the Zebra, Pelican, Puffin, Toucan and Pegasus crossing. Let's have a look at each type in more detail. The zebra crossing is one of the best known crossings due to its black and white stripes and flashing yellow Belisha beacons. Zebra crossings are the only type of crossing where the pedestrian always has priority. There are no traffic lights, only the yellow beacons. If a pedestrian is waiting to cross, we must stop or slow down to allow them to cross. There are also white zigzag lines on approach to the crossing we must not park our vehicle or overtake on these under any circumstances. Pelican crossings use buttons, lights and sounds to allow pedestrians to cross the road safely. These types of crossings are normally found in busier, more populated areas. The pedestrian presses a button, the traffic lights bring the traffic to a stop and then a signal on the opposite side of the road instructs the pedestrians that it is safe to cross. On a pelican crossing, the traffic light sequence includes a flashing amber light before the green light. The flashing amber light means that vehicles must give way to any pedestrians who are still using the crossing, but if the crossing is clear, then they may proceed. Puffin crossings work in a similar way to pelican crossings, but are fitted with smart sensors. These sensors can tell when the crossing is clear or if pedestrians are still using the crossing. If it senses a pedestrian on the road, it will hold the traffic with a red traffic light. Then once the crossing is clear, the normal traffic light sequence of red and solid amber, then finally green to allow the traffic to proceed.
toucan crossings are designed so both pedestrians and cyclists can safely cross a road alongside each other. They are similar to a puffing crossing but are slightly wider to accommodate both cyclists and pedestrians. Toucan crossings are mostly found close to parks or areas with designated cycle lanes. Cyclists are much faster moving than pedestrians so be aware of any cyclists dashing to cross the road as the lights change. Pegasus crossings are sometimes known as equestrian crossings and are designed for pedestrians and horses to cross at the same time. They work in the same way as a toucan crossing and are often found near racecourses and horse training areas. Like a puffin and toucan crossing, the traffic lights will operate like normal. Before moving off, we make sure that the crossing is clear of both pedestrians and horses and then pull away slowly so we don't startle any horses nearby. Pedestrians will cross the road wherever they can and will often use traffic islands as a place to wait. Whilst it is tempting to stop and allow them to finish crossing the road, we need to consider whether this is the safest thing to do. Traffic following us might not expect us to stop, which could result in a collision. We normally try to continue driving at a reduced speed and watch the pedestrian in case they step out and force us to stop. So remember to look ahead to spot a crossing early. Check your mirrors in case of danger. Approach carefully in case you need to stop and be patient and wait until the crossing is clear before moving off. If you found this video interesting then please visit our channel as there are over 150 more tutorial videos to help you improve your driving. If you would like to help us make new videos then please consider becoming a member of our channel. Thanks for watching.